Hello to one and all. Today in this video, we'll study about pivot transformation in mapping data flow activity of Azure Data Factory. So in general, pivot means we have to convert the rows to columns. So here in the sheet, you can see that we have the input data set and the desired output data set. So the input data set has three columns, okay, which has like uh, different rows here and here on the basis of one of the column we are going to take the unique values of one of the column and convert it into distinct columns here in the form of different columns so the one column value okay one column this distinct values will be converting into separate columns okay so here you can see that we have the columns as name year and sales and here on the basis of the different people how they are performing okay in different years we want the data to be in separate columns hence we are pivoting the data we are interested to see year wise which person has made uh, what sales okay so the pivot transformation uh, standard definition is here use the pivot transformation to create multiple columns from the unique row values of a single column okay so here we are creating multiple columns so the multiple columns are the names okay the people who have performed sales and the unique uh, from the unique row values of a single column so single column here was name okay and the unique row values let's say here the person was performing sale in 2010 as well as the same person who has performed sales in 13 and 14 so we are not going to uh, take uh, uh, multiple values we are going to take the unique row values okay of a single column then pivot is an aggregation transformation where you select group by columns and generate pivot columns using aggregate functions okay so here we are going to group by on the year column here you can see that the years are also repeating so we will group it on the basis of this year column and generate the pivot column so the pivot columns here will be on the basis of this name column okay the unique row values and the aggregate function so we are interested to see the sales so the aggregate function after grouping by on the year column would be sum okay so the sum of the sales performed by each individual in that particular year okay so if we go to the official page uh, by Microsoft for the pivot transformation the same uh, definition here I've taken in uh, that sheet so it states the same thing now the configuration settings are given here which we will see while implementation okay it in the ADF so we'll go to the ADF so here is my uh, data factory and we will create a new pipeline let's create the pipeline pipeline named as pivot demo okay now since this is a data flow activity so we could see it under the move and transform tab as data flow so we'll take it here in the canvas and then we will try to create it naming it as data flow pivot demo We'll add the source so i've already kept this source file here which i've demonstrated the name year and sales column into my storage account inside the input folder as pivot input.csv okay so we'll try to view here the data so let's preview it name year and sales it is having the same values okay now we'll connect to this particular data set okay so here we'll name the output source stream as pivot input let me and then the data set and our data set is present inside the container inside the input folder as pivot input dot csv so we'll try to connect so let's click on data set azure data lake gen 2 storage account since it's a csv so it will be csv delimited text click here then click continue let's name it as pivot input link service is already there for that storage into account so we'll select the link service we'll browse to that file location so it was inside the input folder and pivot input dot csv click ok so our csv is having header like this is the the first row is having header so we'll 
click this option check okay so check this first row as header option and import schema none then we will click ok okay now we'll go to the data preview option and see the data now, since the data flow debug option is already enabled here and the cluster at the back end is ready we could see the data so here now you can see the data name year and sales okay next our job is to convert this rows into columns using the pivot transformation so we click on the plus sign and search for the pivot which comes under the schema modif modifier section so click on pivot and we'll write it as pivot demo and the input stream is already there next comes uh, the pivot settings which is having three important sections like the group by tab pivot key tab and the pivot columns so we'll go to the documentation page and we'll try to see what's written in the official page about these settings okay so we'll go here in the configuration and the first tab was group by so here it says select which columns to aggregate the pivoted columns over the output data will group all rows with the same group by values into one row okay the aggregation done in the pivoted column will occur over each group okay so here in our case we are grouping by you can see the data on the basis of the year column okay so 10 12 13 14 15 we have different year okay so in our case it will be year okay aggregate the pivoted columns over on which column okay so here so in our case the group by column should be selected from the drop down as year here we cannot see the results i mean the drop down is not showing up the columns which we have coming from the in incoming stream so we'll go back to the incoming stream the source stream and we'll see that in the projection tab we are not we have not imported the projection so we'll import the projection so it's getting imported it will display in some time here so here we can see the projection imported name year and sales the three columns and their types are defined as string short and short okay by default in the csv the type is string and by importing the projection it is giving us option to select the type so here in our case year should be integer and sale should be integer 2 okay so we have specified here the data type now if we go back to the transformation and we go to go to the group by and now try to see the drop down here we can see the incoming columns so here we are grouping by on the year column so we have selected year next comes the pivot key tab so we'll go back to the pivot transformation page official page and we'll see the pivot key so the pivot key should be selected or it is the column whose row values get pivoted into new columns so in our case the row values which are going to convert into uh, new columns is this name column okay this is what we are going to convert to new columns okay by default the pivot transformation will create a new column for each row value okay so in our case we have we know which column we have to select so we will select the pivot key column as this names column okay so we have selected the name as pivot key next is the value so here we have an extra uh, configuration setting where we can simply give the value uh, for which we want to uh, like pivot the column okay we want to create the different column so here it is mentioned that in in this section this value okay you can enter specific row values to be pivoted only those uh, only the row values entered in this section will be pivoted and rest will be omitted so here in our case we want all so we won't uh, consider this option it is uh, written here it's optional okay this we have done so next comes the pivoted columns so go back to the settings okay in the documentation page it says here for each unique pivot key value that becomes a column generate an aggregated row value for each group you can create multiple columns per pivot key each pivot column must contain at least one aggregate function so here is the tab pivoted columns tab 
where we define the aggregate function okay so in our case the aggregate function is sum the summation we are doing on the basis of year uh, and each individual okay so here you can see that here in the column uh, arrangement below this in this particular section they have mentioned this aggregate function okay so in our case we will mention the function here okay in the expression builder we can go and we can name the output column as sales let's say okay and we will write this, this function sum and which column we are selecting sales column so we can select here okay sum sales click finish so here we have this column as sales the name of the column and what we are doing we are doing the summation okay column name pattern so things the column name pattern select how to format the column name of each pivot column the outputted column name will be a combination of the pivot key value column prefix and optional prefix suffix and middle characters okay so this back here and we will define in our case you can see that it's the column name and the unique row values separated by a hyphen so here in the settings in the in the middle we will give hyphen okay and now we have done the setting we'll go to the data preview to see if the previewed data is as expected so here we can see year it's grouped by on the basis of year and different columns are created okay with uh, sales hyphen the unique column uh, values and the aggregated or the summation data and the aggregated data okay so we'll go back to the pivot settings so in the third tab sum of sales and this is the column name which we have given so this column name sales and then this hyphen which is the separator and this is the suffix okay and the column arrangement is lateral only column arrangement if you generate more than one pivot column per pivot key choose how you want the columns to be ordered okay so this is it we have selected prefix expression prefix middle pivot key value and suffix so it's the same we have given the aggregation function over here as sum of sales the column name as sales so that column name uh, separated by the hyphen okay the separator and the suffix okay suffix as those unique values okay pivot key values got it so this is done and the data pre preview looks fine so here so here is the overall pivot transformation setting first is the group by so we did it on the year column then the pivot key we have selected the name column for which we wa we want to generate the different columns of the unique row values then comes the pivoted columns settings where we have selected the column name pattern we have defined the separator as hyphen and given the aggregate function how we want to see the data next is that we will attach it to sync sync of pivot we'll select the data set as pivot output let's say link service same gen to account we want to land this pursue as header file path let's say this time the file path would be in output we'll select that folder and then click ok now we'll data preview again at the sync level So this looks fine now we want the file to be created okay so in the settings of the sync we have the file name option so the file we want as a single file so we'll output it to single file which will enable the set single partition so click there and output a single file name as pivot output dot csv again we want a csv so that we can preview the data then and there and then we will 
publish the changes. And we can now perform a debug run or a trigger run. So here our debug run is executing, which is in progress. So here we can see the data flow is showing succeeded. Now we go back to the storage account to the output folder and we can see the file generated. Pivot output.csv. Let's click on it. Let's click edit and preview and we can preview the data. So this is the expected data which we wanted. Okay, so here we have tried to convert the rows to columns. Okay, so this is a very quick and short demo on the basic implementation of the pivot logic in ADF mapping data flow activity. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any queries or doubts, do write to me. I'll try to answer them and wish you happy learning. Bye. Take care.